my name is Sarah Dichi Rhymes with Peachy. If you're new around here, this video is all about guitar and buying back my guitar equipment. But I just wanted to say at the beginning of this video, if you haven't checked out my podcast yet, The Creative Exchange, please do. Links are in the description below. This week we had L Mills, and every single week now I'm doing a new docu-series. It's a six episode docu-series about like how to podcast and the behind the scenes of the whole podcast thing. So make sure to check that out. I've already posted the first episode and this week's episode is the behind the scenes of doing a podcast with the Gary Vaynerchuk. So stick around. Let's hop into this video. Hello internet. Today is a very exciting day because I'm buying back guitar gear. I've played electric guitar for over 10 years. Music was my life. In high school and college, I played for a band and that's kind of how I segued into video. I love making videos. It's my job. YouTube is my job. Hashtag blessed. It's fun. But it all started with music. I remember one of the first videos that I did and I had my aha moment of like, oh yeah, I think I can make this my job is a quick video recap of a trip to Greece. And all it was, was just vibey video with a really cool song and me editing to music. So that's really how I got my start in video was just my obsession with music and cool music and putting images to music. I love music. When I was in high school, I worked a lot, whether it was babysitting or refereeing basketball games. I got that money and I put it into guitar gear. I was obsessed. But the moment I wasn't as passionate about guitar and music and I found video, I started selling off my gear and that's truly how I funded video and my first camera. The Canon 70D was the first camera that I first ever owned. It was mine. Sometimes I think about the guitar gear that I owned and it makes me sad that I don't still have it. So I'm putting my foot down, like I'm an adult, I have a job now, I'm in this mindset where everything I buy has to go back to my job, but gosh darn it, I'm gonna have a hobby. I don't have to be a rock star. I can have guitar gear just to have fun and play guitar. So here's some pictures of my old setup. I had all of the pedal boards, all of the amps, I had like five guitars at one point. It was a problem. I only have one guitar left. I don't think I'm gonna buy a new guitar, we'll, we'll see, but I want some pedals back. I want a proper amp. If there's any gearheads out there, you are going to thoroughly enjoy this video. And if you don't care about guitar, it'll probably be fun to watch me be all giddy again about music. I love it. First step is finding a guitar shop. There's a lot of cool guitar shops in New York City. So, you know, my first reaction isn't Guitar Center because I understand that if I want the good stuff, it might not be at Guitar Center. But all the shops that I looked at, they're like very old vintage amps starting at $3,000. And I, I just, I don't want to do that right now. So there's actually a really cool Guitar Center in the middle of Midtown that has some sick stuff, like not normal Guitar Center stuff. almost the same exact Gretsch that I had. But it's double cutaway. I went through a lot of overdrive pedals in my days, but this is my first one. The full tone OCD. compared to what I used to have. So cute. Super impressed by this guy. So first of all, what did you guys think of that guitar center? It was actually pretty impressive, right? It was very tempting to leave with a Gibson ES335 and then I'm like, oh wait, they're $3,000. I love hollow bodies and semi hollow bodies, but this guy, the Morgan AC20, when I saw that I was like, what? And then I started playing it and I was like, oh, Sounds so good. I wanted a tiny pedal board, but I got a lot of pedals. So we're gonna see if this actually fits. It's 
so cute. The thing with building a pebble board is there is a certain order to everything. Typically you want your tuner first and then overdrives or fuzz and then you want your delays and then you want the reverbs at the very end. So next up is the fuzz pedal. So this thing is so insane. Most of the time it sounds terrible and it goes haywire so you really have to dial in the sound. But if you have a fuzz pedal, it has to sound crazy. This surprised me. I thought I was gonna have to order an overdrive pedal online because I wanted maybe an old Timmy pedal, but this Wampler Tumnus pedal, it sounded so good. And just the combination of this, a Strat, and this amp, I was like, I need this now. So I have a special place in my heart for this pedal. This is an even tied time factor. You could kill someone with this. It's like a brick. Hey, John, catch. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> ah. This one is a pedal I have always wanted, and so the time is now. I've never had a reverb pedal that is this massive. So the moment of truth, guys, it's gonna fit. All right, we're gonna, we can make this happen. They might just be off the edge just a little bit. We got this. It is time for the moment of truth. The board is done. It's not super pretty. I will fix all of the cables and make it all tidy and neat once I know that it works. This is exciting. Rock and roll. It is time to turn on thine amp and see if everything works. And rock thine out. Yeah. Bye! That hum is just crazier than normal. separate power, so there should be no buzz now. Oh yeah. Let's go to tape echo, we'll just do one delay, because you can do two delays at one time, which is cool. factory pedal. I'm scared of this pedal because it can sound crazy. So let's see what we're dealing with here. I love it. I love it. So that's um, an example of what this pedal is. Okay, I found it. Nothing sounds like it. It's it's crazy. I don't know if I've played directly straight from the amp that much, so just here's why. It's very clean sounding. by basically cranking up the volume and then turning down the power level. So you can get some actual crunch from the amp itself without having to get it super, super loud because with tube amps, 
you have to crank it up super high, the volume, for it to really break up. So that's when the power level knob comes in handy. So straight from the amp, you can actually get a little dirt. This sounds good. <laughs> I would probably play more for you, but most of this video was the journey getting the stuff. So maybe eventually, you know, leave a comment down below if you want to form a band with me. Maybe I can just hop in as a guitar player, use my YouTube channel for exposure. Any cool people who need a hip and a half and a guitar player, hit me up. Because now I have this tiny awesome pedal board and an amp. This has been so much fun for me. Probably when I was playing, my face was like very focused just because I was getting in my zone. Like I promise I'm, this is the funnest thing ever. I love it so much. So thank you for being a part of this journey. And yeah, let me know what you think. I know this is kind of a random video, but it was so fun for me. So let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. If you guys haven't checked out my podcast yet, check it out. New podcast every single Monday, and this week was L Mills. Oh my gosh. Go check out the L Mills podcast in the description below. And be back this week for the How to Podcast series. Guys, it's, it's epic. So until next time, guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye.